Hi guys, welcome back. So the next step we're going to do then is setting up plate solving and this is one of the most powerful features that you will ever have for astro imaging. It is fantastic. It, it completely removes the need for two, three star alignments. So if you go to this tab, what I use for this in Sequence Generator Pro is plate solve 2. And I, would, I set mine to 100 regions because I find that if it doesn't find it in the first 100 regions, it's not going to. So best to roll over to your blind plate solver. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. So I take a higher exposure, or sorry, a, lo a, a longer exposure with a lower ISO. I find that gives better results. I will attempt to center three times and until error is less than, we'll put in, I put in a thousand pixels, but I don't think it ever goes that far. So if we hit settings, okay, so if we go to edit parameters, oh, I don't think that's actually what I meant to do, so file, and we will go to configure catalog directories, so I'm trying to remember where exactly I put them, but I think it was C program files, in fact, let's do it easier, let's just use Windows Explorer, so was it Starry Night, I think? Starry Ridge. So that's the two folders there. So that's me. Just come back up here. So I showed these in a previous video, downloading and installing them. I think of my previous setup, I actually moved these files into the folders that it suggested up here. But I think for this one... So was that... Just to jump down in. I think that is all we need. So that is everything. That's it set up. So if we look at these, the parameters, we'll edit them and this is what I use. And I'll just check to see what's different. 6345 is fine. These look fine. Enable third highest accuracy plate solving. I have this removed. So to do this, this is what I had was 54, 30, 30. My location. My longitude is minus 6, 0, 4, 1, 9. And we click OK. So it has the wrong settings in there. I'm trying to recall off the top of my head and I can't what these are, but I don't believe we need to put these in because I think that SG Pro will actually push these in from your camera profile because it is obviously able to calculate using your scale and per pixel and your number of pixels. It's able to figure out what you need to do. So then we will come down in our plate solve. I'll give it a click save again. We will use blind failover, so this, if this plate solve 2 doesn't work, you can move to a secondary system. So, to be honest, you can use remote, and you can use local. I believe I have already installed the local. This will tell me if I have or not, which I have, with the default settings. So I would just leave those as, as they are. Um, I am actually going to leave it as remote, because I have a good internet link, and I find that remote works quite well. So if I hit save, we are done. So uh, thanks for listening. Um, in the next video, we'll move on to guiding.